today's video i'm going to be um, doing another painting of cornwall in watercolor and for this one i'm doing my references of padstow um, one of the pictures that i took while visiting padstow so it's a really nice uh, harbour harbour um, sort of a place uh, you got lots of uh, ships and boats and some really nice shops and um, cafes and restaurants and just a really, really, really nice place to be. And so I wanted to do this. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to do this painting. I'm keeping things loose as as always. Um, you can see I wanted to show you the um, pencil stage. So this is where I'm just making marks and planning out my composition. You can see I even use an eraser. Nothing wrong with using the eraser, just try and correct things as you go along. Um, so really, this is just planning out the composition, getting things in, um, in place, and you can adjust things. And also, what I'd like to say is, um, once you put the pencil down, it doesn't have to be where the paint's going to go. It's just the guide so you can, you know, correct things as you go along. Um, I've noticed there's some maybe perspective issues uh, so far. So I don't have to follow the pencil lines exactly. It just gives me an idea and, and, and um, something to go off. So it does help, um, but I, I am keeping things quite loose. So I'm not going um, uh, to be as realistic as I can. I'm not going to slavishly follow the picture as always. Um, just just that looking for a, a representation of the uh, reference itself. So here we go. This is, is Padstow in Cornwall. A really really nice uh, place, and just in the um, the sort of background, the sort of furthest you can see, um, we do have a little stretch of sea and a bit of land. Um, so I'm using my uh, Windsor & Newton for this first um, first couple of washes uh, just simply because I don't have um, a cerulean blue in my Schmincke Horridam set it's more, the blue is um, a, an ultramarine blue so it's quite a bit more uh, darker than I want I wanted a summer sky sort of blue and so um, I'm using my uh, Windsor and Newton for this first couple of stages of uh, this painting. I will be using my Schmincke Horridam um, paint as soon as this first sort of stage is dry. Um, I know people might wonder, you might wonder if, if if that's if that's possible, if you can do that. Of course, you can mix any sort of paints together. Um, so you'll see the results from that. I will also be using some of my um, super granulating paints I've just recently bought. That's the Schmincke Horridam range. Um, so hopefully get some interesting marks from that. So I'm just laying, it, laying in the first wash, uh, getting um, most of the paper uh, covered. Although I do have some highlights, some side of buildings that are nice and stark white, which I want to preserve, so I'm sort of missing those. I've actually put a little bit of masking fluid on the road itself for the road markings. So you will see that as I uh, progress and towards the end of the painting, I'll remove that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to just go ahead and, and having fun and... Um, painting this nice and loose as I like to do. Um, it's quite interesting uh, for me that when I start out with painting, I have an idea in my head how I want to tackle uh, the painting, but it sort of travels along its own sort of way, and I just uh, think of ways in which I can add that. So for this uh, this particular painting, um, I did have things in mind. Um, but as the paint progresses, you'll see I will use some pigment pens uh, just to tie things up and sort of uh, tighten up a little bit because it is a loose painting. So I like to use the pens just to make more sense and to um, get a bit more texture and a bit more detail, a bit more structure. 
to the painting, I suppose. Um, but yeah, ho hopefully you like this one. Uh, please do let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I do have uh, plenty more videos on my channel. Um, so you can subscribe if you if you want, and and please don't forget to hit the notification button, um, so you'll receive uh, notifications every time I upload upload each and every new video. By the way, if you're thinking this looks quite messy, uh, I do agree. Um, this is what I would refer to as the messy stage. Um, it's probably a stage where you're more likely to abandon the painting. Um, but if you stick with me, you'll see um, how uh, to work through the messy stage and start pulling things together. Um, it sort of generally goes through this stage before things start to look better. So if you just bear with me, uh, just keep watching, um, you'll see how things start improving and, uh, and just things start making more sense. using Fabriano um, 140, 140 pound cold pressed um, as well as um, started off with the Winsor & Newton uh, professional grade watercolours um, I'm now using my um, Schmincke Horridam so I've got my um, paper taped to a board uh, this is about 40 45 degree angle
Yeah, another light change. You might have noticed on my videos, um, I do have a couple of light changes. Just simply, uh, it becomes night time and then I paint um, inside the living room um, on my uh, table. So I've got a ring light, but at the moment it's uh, light, so I'm I use my conservatory for the painting. So that's a little bit distracting. They've always wondered, um, it's just um, different. A different day um this is uh, morning time um so just um difference in light though so you may you may notice I, i'm not really um being too careful painting this i'm just going ahead just slapping down the pen and then just this is why i find the um the pens quite useful using ink um it just gives a little bit more structure to the painting, especially if you paint a loose uh, style. It just helps tie things together, and um, hopefully you can see now that we're getting through that messy stage. Um, it's really um, one of those things that you just have to keep going. You just have to get through that stage. Um, and, you know, you just got to try and make something work. You know, if, if, you, if you're if you going to bin your, your work, your painting, you're going to stop because you're not happy. Uh, just try and pick one thing that you can improve, one thing that you can make um, like a focal point uh, and work on that. Maybe you can bring the painting back just from that uh, one thing alone. So I'm already using my uh, Schmincke um, set now. You can see just off to the right. Um, so... I'll be using some of the super granulating paints as well, like in the uh, road going down. Um, this this scene is actually looking downhill. Hopefully that translates, um, and it's a nice uh, sunny day. So hopefully I'm capturing that. So you got the sun coming from the right hand side. So a few nice shadows here and there, um, as well as some um, nice um, sunlit buildings.
Just removing the masking fluid now from the road. Uh, hopefully that shows uh, a nice white line. Uh, that's why I went in and darkened the road just a little bit more and then on the line where the white is. So just removing my tape now, um, just to reveal uh, what the painting would look like um, if you wanted to get it framed. Uh, it always looks nicer with a crisp clean border. And that's, there you have it. I uh, hope you like this one. Um, again, if you're painting and you go through that ugly stage, then just persevere. Um, just try and make the, something work, make it look interesting. Uh, keep going and I promise you'll uh, get some results. So there we go. That's pad store in watercolour. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.